Get $3 off every order at PlayAsia by using the code CENSORED. Tokimura Sessions Western Censorship is something that I'm sure most of you are already well aware of, but just in case, there'll be a link in the description to Sensor Gaming's full report on the vast amount of changes that the game had when it was localised outside of Japan. The only explanation that we've ever had for the title's large amount of changes was from a Game Informer article back in April 2016, where the site reached out to Nintendo regarding their localization plans for the project. Nintendo's response was as follows, Tokimura Sessions was localised by Atlas in a way that is consistent with the localization work they do on the games they publish. It was a priority to ensure the game feels familiar and appeals to long-time Atlas fans. Any changes made to the in-game content were due to varying requirements and regulations in the many different territories Nintendo distributes its products. So the official explanation for the edits were due to the varying requirements and regulations in many different territories. However, this still leaves many questions. What exactly are these regulations that they are referencing and in what territories? The full story for why the game had such heavy changes is something that many people are still curious about, and Sensor Gaming was recently made aware of something that may help to further explain things. Over on the Sensor Gaming subreddit, in a post discussing the localization of the new Fire Emblem Echoes, a poster informed Sensor Gaming of something they had discovered regarding some very early trailers for Token Rar sessions. Sonic X9 speculated that the changes may have been due to the ESRB advising Nintendo that the game would otherwise be rated mature. What made them say this exactly? Well, it turns out that in multiple early trailers for the title, and these trailers date way back to early 2015, the trailers were given a this game is anticipated to be rated mature message by the ESRB. Note that the use of the word anticipated means that the M rating was not guaranteed and that final ratings can sometimes differ. But as we know that the ESRB can advise publishers during development and offer insight into what rating they will be likely to receive, this discovery does suggest that this could have been possibly why. The final release of the game was given a teen rating but had many many changes turning down content. Again, there will be a link in the description to the title's full censorship report detailing these changes. Thank you for watching.